Yeah, okay, then uh, let us uh, start the session. Today we are going to discuss very important exercise. It is uh, as important as we are not going to live without air. So for example, you may know that there is a, a caption by a telecommunication network that is nothing but wherever you go, our network follows. Can you guess? It belongs to which telecommunication? It is not uh, the present networks that what we are using. Earlier, there is a, a telecommunication network called Hutch. I think uh, some of you, you may heard that net network. The caption is, wherever you go, our network follows. Like that, what I would like to say is, whatever the topic that we are going to discuss today, the topic that is going to be with you forever. So for example, while you, whether you are going to write gate examination, whatever competitive examination that might be, whether it is a uh, gate, whether it is CAT, whether it is GMAT, even uh, while you are writing the competitive examinations like uh, bank examinations, RRB, whatever that might be. Okay. Whatever exam that you are going to write, there is at least uh, one or two questions from this topic, idioms and phrases. Such sort of importance that uh, this topic is having that what we are going to discuss today. So uh, let us move to, uh, first of all, we are going to discuss uh, the importance of this idioms and phrases. And then uh, we'll move on to the the remaining things. So this English idioms and phrases are very important in our even in our day-to-day -day life. So for example, I think uh, some of you are going to aspire to do your MS in US. Otherwise, uh, after getting a software profession, maybe some of you, you are moving towards uh, other countries like uh, US, Canada, Australia, like that. If you observe the speakers of uh, native speakers, most of the time, they're going to use uh, uh, these idioms in their day-to-day uh, -day language. That's why it is very important that we have to know at least uh, some common idioms that is used in our day-to-day -day life. So particularly, I selected uh, some of the idioms and phrases that is very helpful for you in your competitive examination, particularly gate examination. And I also selected some, I have also referred some previous gate examination papers and I collected the same idioms that what I'm going to present it to you in today's class. So for the, first of all, let us see uh, what is an idiom. Idioms and phrases are sentences that do not mean exactly what they say. Idiom is nothing but, so for example, I'll uh, give you an example that you know very well. Kick the bucket. Kick the bucket. If you are going to take uh, the physical meaning, literal meaning, kick the bucket, that means that uh, we are going to kick 
physically the bucket that is uh, that is the not the actual meaning of uh, that uh, that idiom the meaning of that word is uh, if someone died we are going to use that idiom he so and so person kicked the bucket uh, ravi kicked the bucket that means that ravi died that what it means so idioms are nothing but the sentences the physical meaning is different from that of literal me meaning and then uh, let us move towards uh, the next so, next slide yeah so for example let us see uh, this example this uh, example is also came from one of uh, the previous papers of great examination it is a piece of cake it is a piece of cake if you take the other uh, physical meaning of uh, that sentence it is a piece of cake yeah i think uh, you know what it means physical meaning of uh, that sentence but that is not the actual meaning of that uh, sentence it is used an idiom which means something very easy to do that is the meaning of the word idiom it is a piece of cake so very easy task a very easy thing to do that is, that is what it means it's a piece of cake means it's a piece of cake means it is a very easy to do something yeah next yeah let us see some examples uh, for this idiom the exam was a piece of cake what it mean the exam was very easy very easy exam i think so for example if you have five or six exams i think uh, one or two exams is very easy exams that you attempt and let us see one more example glad to help it was a piece of cake that means there is no problem okay i'll uh, help you uh, it is an easy task yeah i'm not going to feel difficult to help you it is a, a very easy task no problem in helping you that what it mean and then uh, one more example grammar is my speciality it is a piece of cake for example if you are good at grammar doing exercise while you are doing exercises there is no problem for you you can easily solve the solutions whatever that might be so grammar is my speciality it is uh, a piece of cake that means there is no problem grammar is uh, very known to us i can uh, able to practice uh, grammar easily so finally i would like to say that it is a piece of cake the meaning of the word idiom is very easy to do to do something that what it means yeah let us uh, move towards uh, the next idiom as easy as abc as easy as abc an idiom which means something that is as easy as abc is very easy or simple the meaning of this uh, idiom easy as abc means so for example if i am going to ask you how uh, will you tell me will you can will you able to say the alphabets a to z then that is a very easy task na no? okay you can able to say a b c d e f g h like that okay within a, uh, within 30 seconds you can able to answer so the meaning of the word easy as a b c that means it is very easy or it is very simple so let us see some examples for this idiom learning how to use a computer is as easy as abc for the children nowadays even uh, the school going children is also able to operate uh, computers in a wonderful manner but in the case of uh, our days even uh, in your days also in your school days uh, you were not aware of uh, computers and so on said so, but nowadays uh, the people uh, who is studying uh, uh, primary and then uh, even uh, at the age of 5 6 years they can able to operate the computer in a wonderful manner that means very easy for them why because uh, they are acquainted they are able to uh, 
or do such things so let me let us see one more example our english course is as easy as abc that means okay this english course is uh, very easy that what it means and one more example is that examination was as easy as abc that means that yeah attempting that examination is very easy i get able to write that uh, exam without any difficulty that what it means next yeah easy as pie next yeah let us see okay the, first of all uh, let us see what the, what it mean what is the meaning of the word as easy as pie yeah it is uh, used to describe a task or experience as pleasurable and simple so it is not only easy but uh, but also it is pleasurable the idiom does not refer to the making of a pie but rather to the act of consuming a pie so that means uh, as e easy as eating a pie next i let us see uh, one or two examples so that uh, you will understand it better lavanya you make everything sound as easy as pie that means that lavanya you make everything sound as easy as pie yeah you did everything very easily not only easily but uh, with uh, ease that what it mean setting up the printer was e was as easy as pie for example for uh, hardware people setting up a printer is a very easy task for them for we people we don't know uh, how to uh, operate a printer internal parts uh, it is uh, very difficult for us but for the technical people for the hardware people it is uh, easy for them to manage to organize and to do anything next yeah let us move towards uh, one more idiom a hard nut to crack a hard nut to crack this is also an idiom that is uh, that what i observed in uh, one of the previous papers next yeah let us see okay what it mean a hard nut to crack yeah i think all of you know the meaning of the word hard hard is nothing but tough the meaning of uh, this idiom is a difficult problem or person to deal with that is the meaning of the word a hard nut to crack next let us see an example okay for this uh, idiom this assignment is a hard nut to crack that means that yeah this assignment is uh, somewhat uh, difficult to manage that what it mean it won't be easy getting mom's approval she is a tough nut to crack so if you observe these two examples in first example yeah we use this idiom a hard nut to crack for a thing whereas uh, in the second sentence if you observe we have used the same idiom to a person so let us see the example once again it won't be easy getting mom's approval she is a tough nut to crack that means uh, it is not uh, as easy as possible it is somewhat difficult to uh, manage her mother to gets her approval that what it mean Next. Yeah. yeah one more idiom a ball of fire a ball of fire okay, let us see its meaning a ball of fire means a person with great energy so for example fire okay we are going to use fire yeah he has fire that what we are going to say okay in uh, general that means that he has a great energy that what it means so a ball of fire means a person with a great energy yeah let us uh, 
use this idiom in an example the trainer will have to be a ball of fire to get this football team to play well yeah as you know very well that a trainer must have fire in him then only that fire is going to transform in his players right okay even in the case of uh, the teacher while he is teaching he has fire that means he has courage he has enthusiasm he has interest then only uh, the listeners the students they can able to pay attention towards uh, a teacher or trainer yeah, let us see another example i hope linda joins our group she is a real ball of fire yeah that is also one more example next yes i think uh, many of you know this idiom busy as a bee busy as a bee yeah i think you know the meaning of the word bee let us see an example yeah the meaning of the word busy as a bee means to be very busy or very active so for example if someone is uh, roaming here and there then we are going to say he is uh, busy as a bee so let us see an example she is as busy as a bee always going to meeting and organizing parties so if someone is uh, roaming here and there busily then we are going to use uh, this idiom she is as busy as a bee next next yeah yeah this is also asked in one of the previous question paper in gate examination butterflies in my stomach butterflies in my stomach is it possible that uh, a butterfly is existed in the stomach so that's why in the case of idioms we are not going to consider its physical meaning there is a meaning there is a internal meaning that what we have to understand that is only possible by practice next 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 yeah the meaning of this uh, idiom butterflies in my stomach that means that uh, if someone uh, feels very nervous then okay, we are going to say that uh, there is uh, butterflies in my stomach so for example if you are speaking on the dais first time then uh, you are not going to be comfortable at that place then you are going to say that uh, uh, there is uh, when i am going to speak on the dais first time uh, there is uh, butterflies in my stomach you may say like that i had butterflies in my stomach when i went to see the dentist why uh, he is uh, feeling fear that maybe dentist he is going to uh, uh, while he is uh, doing something uh, maybe there will be pain because of that you are uncomfortable in that situation i had butterflies in my stomach during my first few days at the college why because uh, they, that is the newly environment uh, you are not adjust you are not cope up with uh, different people different circumstances and so on that's why okay, in that situation you may say that uh, i had butterflies in my stomach uh, during my first few days at college yeah are you observing what is happening in that picture yeah it's raining cats and dogs and yeah, there is a rain what is falling down cats and dogs and some other creatures some other animals yeah this is also very important idiom that has been asked in uh, many competitive examinations it is raining cats and dogs can you guess what it what is the meaning of this uh, idiom it is raining cats and dogs next 
yeah that means that it is raining heavily that what it means if there is a, a thunderstorm if there is heavy rains instead of saying saying a uh, plain words like yeah it is a huge rain okay we are simply we are going to yeah it is a huge rain okay is a thunderstorm yeah, these are plain words and sentences that what we are going to use but if you are going to use this idiom in your day to day life it is raining cats and dogs then your language is going to be very beautiful so the meaning of the word it is raining cats and dogs means it is raining heavily uh, there is a, a downpour there is a heavy rain rainfall in that case we are going to use it is raining cats and dogs yeah, let us see some examples the weather was horrible on saturday it was raining cats and dogs all day that means that on saturday there is a heavy rainfall there is a thunderstorm simply we are going to say that it was raining cats and dogs all the day yeah let us see one, other, one more example it is really awful weather outside it is windy and it is raining cats and dogs like that we are going to use we are going to beautify our language we are going to beautify our sentences by using the right idiom at the right place see the picture what is happening yeah this yeah cost somebody an arm and leg what it mean this card cost me an arm and leg do you know the meaning of this uh, idiom cost somebody an arm and leg can you guess what it might be if you see that picture one arm and one leg is missing cost somebody an arm and leg next which means to be very expensive to be very expensive that is uh, what it means uh, let us see an example for the stadium these opera tickets cost us an arm and a leg so for example if you are going to watch a movie uh, in first few days on first day show otherwise second day a third day now uh, the tickets are very expensive so instead of saying okay the tickets are very expensive uh, you are going to say that uh, the tickets cost us as arm and a leg so like that uh, your language is going to be different and then uh, the people they are going to appreciate you yeah they are going to feel that uh, you know many things next his new car cost him an arm and a leg that means that as for example maybe he bought yeah he bought a new car yeah it is uh, somewhat difficult for him yeah it is uh, very expensive maybe he bought that car yeah you know, by loan or something else so that's why okay it is uh, an expensive car for him his new car cost him an arm and a leg that means it is very expensive let us see the next uh, idiom over the moon the next idiom is over the moon let us see its meaning over the moon yeah the meaning of uh, the idiom over the moon means very delighted uh, very happy or delighted that what it means let us see an example he was over the moon when he heard the news for example uh, you worked hard for your gate examination and then uh, on the day of results yeah you qualified 
uh, the gate examination uh, with very good rank very good grade then uh, how you are going to feel at that moment you are very much delighted you are very happy you are very joyous so in that case uh, instead of saying i am very happy i am very delighted you may say that uh, i was over the moon on the day of my gate examination results you say like that so that uh, your language is very beautiful and even uh, the people uh, they may understand that uh, you have rich vocabulary you have sound subject knowledge and so on let us see one more example she was over the moon with her new mobile yeah after buying a new mobile she was uh, very much delighted very happy uh, we are going to say in this manner she was over the moon she was over the moon when she was over the moon when she was uh, very happy very delighted yeah with her new mobile shall we practice uh, some exercises regarding idioms yeah whatever that uh, idioms that we are going to practice some of these yeah can you guess uh, what the idiom might be yeah you can able to recognize what is happening in the picture uh, there is uh, two pigs normally it doesn't have wings but uh, these are special pigs it has wings it is flying it is flying high in the sky can you guess what this idiom may be hey you may guess next yeah when pig fly what is happening in the first picture are having wings if whether it is a bird or whatever object it might be if it, if it has wings yeah it is going to fly in the air when pigs fly when we are going to use the idiom what it means yeah when there is no chance of something ever happening then we are going to is this idiom when pigs is it possible is it possible that pigs is going to fly high in the air have you ever seen pigs with uh, wings no it is not possible when there is no chance of something ever happening then we are going to use this idiom when pigs fly so for example let us say this my mom will allow me to study in manila yeah when pigs fly that means that yeah my mom is not going to allow me to study in uh, manila next yeah it is uh, this idiom is related to colors in the pink in the pink yeah when we are going to use this idiom we are glad to hear that kiran is in the pink again he had a heart surgery last month so he had a heart surgery then uh, now there is no problem for him he is in the pink that means that uh, there is no problem he is uh, with good health that what it means whenever we are going to use this idiom in the pink that means that he is in the safe hands uh, his health condition is normal there is no dangerous for his health that what it means when someone is in the pink he or she is in good health that what it means yeah let us see one more idiom this uh, idiom is also asked many times in many examinations not only gate examination in rrb in uh, 
as a bank examinations and so on a little bird told me what is the idiom a little bird told me we need not consider its a physical meaning is it possible that uh, a little bird told something to a person uh, we don't know the language of birds no yeah the meaning of this idiom a little bird told me yeah, let us see a little bird told me that you are getting married very soon so for example uh, if you are going to say that uh, to your friend uh, are you going to movie evening you are going to ask like this no i am not going to movie today that is said by your friend in that case you are going to say that uh, a little bird told me that you are going to uh, watch a movie today evening what it mean yeah let us see the name somebody but i don't want to reveal that name yeah somebody told you something but you don't want to reveal his or her name in that case we are going to use this idiom a little bird told me if you don't want to reveal uh, the name of the person that whom that he, to, he or she told you then you are going to use this idiom a little bird told me yeah next have ants in your pants yeah this is also important idea have ants in your pants so for example if there is ants in your pants how you are going to feel are you comfortable at that moment no not at all you are going to be excited you are going to be very much worried and you can't stand properly if there is ants in your pants right yeah that is uh, the meaning of uh, the word ants in your pants excited worried can't keep let us see an example i have got in my pants i can't wait to see my grades tomorrow that is uh, an example for this idiom next yeah this is uh, an example idiom for hey uh, what's wrong with sita is she having a bad day a bad day means a day when everything goes wrong yeah you may guess it easily okay. a bad day in the sense bad hey days bad Hey, this it means uh, some difficulties in those days. That's what it means. Next, yeah, yeah. I think uh, this is also very important idea that is asked in many competitive exams. Uh, this uh, idiom is related to numbers. Numbers. So, for example, if you are uh, very happy then instead of saying i am very happy you have to say that i am on ninth cloud so that uh, the person who is uh, listening you you must uh, thought that you are very happy yeah, your language is different so if you if he or she knows that the meaning of uh, that word then definitely he or she is going to think that yeah you are a very knowledgeable person you are using a rich language you are using a beautiful language yeah she was on cloud 9 when she learned that she passed the test when you see the result if you are grade is uh, more than your expectations then how you will be you will be on cloud 9 you will be on ninth cloud that means that you are overjoyed you are very happy you are excited at that moment 
uh, it is uh, nothing but cloud nine. Yeah, this is also a number idiom. B six feet under. B six feet under. What it means? It means that to be dead and buried. B six feet under. That means that someone has been buried in six feet under. That's what it means. No, you can't uh, read my diary. Not until I am six feet under. So if it is uh, six feet under, it is uh, difficult for us uh, to manage. Right? Because even uh, the man nowadays uh, the people uh, doesn't have uh, the six feet height. Many people. Okay, that's why it is uh, somewhat difficult to manage. Next. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are all uh, some of uh, idioms. Yeah, whatever the idioms that we have discussed today, these are the idioms that has been asked in many competitive examinations. So you have to pay attention. I hope that you pay attention to 